Hello and welcome to section four, four, four of uh, Open Access Wikipedia Challenge and we're going to be talking about editing Wikipedia, wiki text, wiki markups uh, in this session. So what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, a spin around of some other Wikipedia articles and then we're going to uh, write a bit and then the lesson or the uh, the activity is going to be, uh, write our own user page and um, include or what's sometimes known in Wikipedia as transcluding um, our languages. So simple assignment. So let's do what we normally do and go to Wikipedia. Um, and let's take a look at the English side. So um, one thing that's kind of big in the uh, open access world at the moment is the recent Hattie Trust settlement. So let's go to the Hattie Trust article, which is actually surprisingly um, not that not that well developed. Um, the only mention here about the recent settlement. Oops, sorry. Um, Oh, perhaps there isn't um, about the um, the recent copyright file, the recent fair use statement. So actually, that needs to be added. So if you've got um, if you've got some time at the end of this, you'll be well qualified to edit this article. Let's see how you edit the article. Okay, so we know there's the article tab, we know the talk tab, the read. We've looked at view history now. So let's go to the edit tab. Um, Hearty trust. So. Um, Let's. What, what have we got on the page here? Well, we've just got a lot of text, um, and we've got a lot of markup. You know, we see these sorts of brackets, and then here the square brackets. Here there are uh, curly braces. Here there are apostrophes. Um, over here there are some like, ref marks and stuff. So basically, what you need to know is that Wikipedia is not what's known as a WYSIWYG, or sometimes I'll spell this out for you. Um, let's go back to another Wikipedia article. WYSIWYG is uh, what you see. What you see is what what you get, um, and it's a paradigm of editing which you're probably used to uh, in like Microsoft Word, um, in which um, you look at exactly you on the page what you what will happen when you print it out what you see is what you get like when you print it out on paper that's a quote by uh, Ted Nelson if you're curious anyway so um, there was, uh, it was developed of course by Xerox Parks because they were interested in making things that were easily relatable to paper executives but um, and of course when you look at Wikipedia just reading it you, this is what you get, right? What you get is what when Wikipedia is rendered um, you, when you're on the read tab. But when you're in the edit tab, you don't see what you get. And Wikipedia is not a WYSIWYG, though apparently there, should, there might be a development um, called Visual Editor that should be coming soon to Wikipedia. Uh, but instead, you're going to have to use markup, and you'll do markup with a couple of special characters. So the most common markups are for bolding, right? So actually, I'm going to open up a new tab to show you. Um, the results of these things. Okay, so this is the edit tab and this is the uh, render tab. Um, and so you'll notice that there are three uh, apostrophes on either side of the word Hathi Trust. And so when you click save, which I'll just show you is at the bottom here. So if you were to go click save on this page, um, Hathi Trust, which is in three apostrophes, will be rendered in bold. So that's how you bold things. You don't um, it's not like Word or another, um, what you see is what you get, editor. Um, the other things are that, that if you want to make a link to another article that's inside Wikipedia, you'll use these two brackets, right? Um, you'll use the square brackets. So if you want to make a link here to Google Books, in the editor, you'll see bracket, bracket, Google Books, and bracket, bracket. And in the rendered view, what will appear is a link to Google Books. But it gets a bit more complicated than that um, because there are, uh, let's see if it exists somewhere else on this page, um, in fact not. Um, you can add certain uh, elements to, to different, um, different items. So like if you wanted there to be another tag here, you could put a pipe and you could, um, oops, I've accidentally clicked here. Uh, so if you want this to be a link that was to Google Books, but um, you um, was a, but wanted it to display something that was like in lowercase, you can write um, 
Google Books or in lowercase. And so a link to this Wikipedia page will appear with the text label that looks like this um, when you go to render it. So there are options. Uh, uh, that's some of the basic markup um, that exists in these sorts of things. Um, also, there's a small amount of HTML that you can do. Um, and the way that those sorts of works is that you can put, in fact, um, this, there are like uh, these tags like ref, so if you want to make a reference, and that's how you sort of make these footnoted, um, footnoted references on Wikipedia, you can include um, the ref tags, which begin like this, uh, and eventually you can use the uh, editor to help you do them. And I won't get into that now, but basically if you see, I'm just trying to allow you to not be scared when you see certain elements, that means that there's going to create a footnote here. Um, another thing that's interesting, uh, and which is a really important part of Wikipedia, are the things that occur in between two curly braces. And what those things are that are in two curly braces are what's known as templates. So when you open up two curly braces, you put in the name of the template, and then you can then you'll put a pipe, and you'll put in what's known as the parameters to the to the rest of the. Um, to, to the template. So this is a distinguished template with parameter H A T T I H T I I. Um, so this is a parameter that when rendered that template that when rendered um, says not to be confused with and then makes a link to the parameter which you supplied. So it's like a shortcut um, for for writing long things. Um, and that's one of the benefits of not using a what you see is what you get. Um, is that you can have sort of things like that. Um, and so templates uh, render text uh, from the given parameters. In this case, this is just this one that distinguishes uh, two similar sounding names. So don't get frightened um, when you see things that are like um, double brackets or curly brackets or um, these sorts of um, large apostrophes. They're simply part of the text. So here's the assignment in this one is going to be to write a bit on your own user page. Um, so let's take a look and I'm going to um, close this tab. And the way that we're going to write your own user page is, as we've said before, uh, if you look in the top row, the first link is your own page and it probably doesn't exist yet. Um, and Wikipedia tells you that Wikipedia does not have a user page with this exact name yet. Um, but you can create one. So where, if a page doesn't exist yet, normally where there would be the edit tab, um, you have the create tab. So if you click on that, um, we're presented again with the edit box, uh, and I can write things like, this is the, um, or how about hello? Yeah, we'll draft this, together. hello, my name is Max. Um, I'm uh, a new editor, I'm not, uh, you know, anyway, um, um, and I came here as part of the P2PU. Um, uh, and then I'm going to do uh, italics, which is double, it's just to open uh, access Wikipedia challenge. And I'm just going to actually put this in double quotes. So it's going to create a, and then I'll, um, let's say here, to peer university. Okay, uh, so that looks good enough. And uh, oh, you should also write something to be nice in your edit summary, which is a way that you can tell about what you've edited. So you can look through a long list of edits quite quickly. So I just wrote created page with description of myself. Okay, so save that page quickly. And what you get, you get something that says, hello, my name is Max, I'm a new editor, I came here as part of the P2P University Open um, Wikipedia Challenge. Okay, so the page P2PU actually doesn't exist yet, so it's just giving me a red link. Um, so the website doesn't, doesn't exist. I wonder if it exists as P2P. No page for P2PU then. So get on that also, uh, another thing to do. Um, Okay, but you noticed um, that was also to demonstrate that the link actually goes to the page P2PU, but will display the words peer-to-peer -peer university. Um, so that's useful for doing something also like um, the page for balloon, but then displaying balloons. Um, you know, um, that's a good way to do that. 
So you see that even though it says balloons, it will go to the balloon page. Amazing. Let's go back uh, and edit a bit more. Um, whoops. Let's go back and use the ver let's do a quick thing. I'm going to undo my most recent edit here. I clicked on version history. Then I, this is the latest, the second version. I undo it. Um, I still have to click save. Um, but you know, this is all part of editing Wikipedia. Advanced technique, don't have to remember that if you don't want to. Uh, but that's a way to undo the most recent edit. So the thing that I want to do next is to uh, talk about the user page. Um, is, is, like I said, including templates. So one of the um, interesting and the, um, things that people normally do on their uh, user pages is, um, is that they write which languages they speak on there. Uh, so the easy way of doing that is, uh, is that there are called user boxes, um, and um, I'm just going to um, show you this shortcut, and you can find this link in the bottom of the um, peer to peer U page. But remember, I said all templates come in these uh, sort of um, curly braces. Um, so uh, these are different things, and I'm going to show you what they look like. So at the moment, I'm going to find the uh, English. Well, I'm not the old English, but I do speak native English. So one thing I can do is I can copy. Oops, I just did a control C. I'm going to copy um, that snippet of code. And if I put it in here in the edit box and then I click save, um, when I click save, you notice that it imported this template that says this user is a native speaker of English. Right, so. Um, that's really cool. Uh, and this is dynamic, by the way. So every time you include a template, you just say drag the, drag the text that's off this other page. Um, and in this case, the page is user en, or the template user en. So um, if I go back to here and I type in templates, so I can look at templates, user en, um, what we'll find there is this, right, which has appeared on my page. Uh, and if this is ever changed, which uh, actually is locked, I mean, so you can't change it. But if you any template when you transclude, and every time you change it, it changes for all the places in which they're transcluded, or that template is included using the that is the template is included using the curly brackets. Uh, and this is also um, so that's quite kind of cool, right? Um, so if you want to, so your task is to uh, put in a couple, is to write yours, include all the languages. Uh, that you speak from this list, um, which the link for, for which is in the um, the P2P U page, but you can also go to it by um, typing in Wikipedia code on Babel slash list. If you want to look at some other user boxes for a bit of fun, uh, let's go to the category um, okay, user boxes. Uh, so life. Um, let's do humor, life, humor. Um, this is not so funny, but okay. If you really wanted to put one of this, this user is neurotic. Let's just say that you wanted to write this user is not. I don't even feel comfortable saying this user is neurotic. I haven't nibbled the donut of doom, but let's pretend that I've nibbled the donut of doom. Okay, so. Um, so you can look through the entire list of, oops, if you wanted to add category user boxes at this link, um, you could, I'll go up another layer. You could, um, oops, I'm going to go back to my talk page and then edit. And underneath my English one, I'm going to do the donut of whatever it is. Uh, oh, yeah, I do my edit summary. Um, added user box. Of Doom, save page. Here comes the user box of Doom. Fantastic. So don't be frightened by text. It's um, write a bit of your own as part of this challenge, and then join me in part five when we're going to start talking about commons, Wikimedia Commons, and image files. Thanks.